Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today I'm going to apply all of our floral applique components. You may notice that the cream spot fabric which was provided is quite tiny, really actually too small. So this applique section here I feel won't fit onto one side. So I'm going to be thinning it out a bit and applying some of it to the left and some of it to the right. I'm going to make it up as I go as close as the design as possible and it shouldn't look too crowded. I'm going to have a bit of a play, remove the backing of the bonder web and place some of our components on either side of the lettering before I press it down. Lots to do, let's get cracking. So all of our floral applique pieces have been distributed on either side of our lettering. All of these were meant for just one side, but due to our lack of space, I have distributed it on either side. Um, I have used up all the pieces. I'm going to be adding in some extra foliage of my own. To add extra foliage, I've ironed on some bonder web on the back of our fabric, which we would have used for our left side. I'm going to be removing the backing of the bonder web and cutting out as needed at random. I've got the emerald, the pink, the light green, my own dark green fabric and this green to work with. Time to add some extra foliage.
So I've had a bit of fun and I was drawing with scissors, randomly cutting out shapes and ironing on my floral designs either side. I'm going to be cleaning up, giving it a final press and showing what I've done. And here we have our floral designs on either side of our lettering. I did make it up as I went along and I did use one lot of template pieces which were meant to be just for the right side but I've used them on the right and the left. I think it turned out great. I hope you had success with your floral designs and don't be afraid to add a touch of your own to your quilt. Thanks for joining me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we continue on with our quilt. Bye!